rather than a K. So just to kind of poke a reminder, the left hand grip there you can see used to get a little bit kind of turned around and then when you took the golf club back, you would kind of move it there. You see that's a little movement there. So a little bit and subtle, but that amount of movement there is going to change that club face during the swing and when it comes back to the ball. So if your hand is sort of starting off in the sort of a slightly on a weaker position, yeah. we can't see the logo, and then it's moving as the club goes away, how much your hand is going to move will vary literally from shot to shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just making sure your left hand's on that club there. And I think as well, when it's positioned there, you want the thumbs on there, but be nice. I always say, imagine that's the top of your phone screen there. Yeah. You'll be squeezing that thumb down. And just as your own checkpoint, can you see the logo on yeah. your glove? Okay. These, that's why these gloves are designed with these marks in there for the, up towards your shoulder to see these knuckles here. You see, they're designed to sort of give you some feedback as to what you can and can't see, okay? So yeah. just be aware of the grip position there and I think with the stance, okay? You yeah. sometimes get a little bit on the wide side, okay? So we'll look at the left-hand one here now. Again, back swing wise is fine. As we said, there's a definite good shift of that lower half towards target. So the lower half now is working well. But through impact now, you can sort of see this sort of pulling, tucked up position. Yeah. And the hands are quite close to the body. And because of that, both arms are actually bending and collapsing and the left arm sort of popping yeah. out. Now then, this right hand one, obviously you can see a practice swing. We'll see the difference from, again, same good back swing. Look at the difference in your arms there, you see, yeah? yeah. And it just, I mean, okay, you're, you're kind of less blurred, you've got a lot less effort being put into that shot, and you're still creating quite a lot of club head speed with that movement that you're making here in your practice swings while doing that. And the club then, when your arms just fold up correctly, the club just finishes over your left shoulder a yeah. lot more naturally. So getting that sensation, as we said, of sort of shaking hands with the target and letting your arm just sort of from here just fall down and drop, unhinge and swish that club through is a much better release of that club and gets a lot more energy to the back of the ball again. That's going to be the thing you're going to practice there with that downswing. Now, obviously, when you're at the golf ball, we tend to revert a little bit more yeah. towards, which is fine. I'm fine without a ball. But we're, exactly, yeah. play golf with no ball, perfect. But if we watch the end position here now, we'll see the similar kind of really again. Same good backswing, same good shift of weight. Still a little bit pulling with the arms here, but look at the difference in the follow through compared to this one here where you went through. Okay, this one here to me. Yeah. It just can't go as far. And that, that looked almost like an effort yeah. to try and get it round over your shoulder. Yeah. Where that one now is that. And again, that's a better, longer follow through with a release that isn't as good as we know you could get it. Yeah. So in time, that would eventually sort of <clears throat> be a bit further around your head anyway. So you would just be following through without needing to think, oh, I've got to try and follow through. Because if you're thinking, I don't follow through, I must follow through, but I get my left arm straight, I go, you can't do these things. No. Things don't physically happen in that way and therefore you're basically going to fight a very quick losing battle, aren't you? So working on that, we call the release of that club. Like I say, I would suggest practicing swinging with the club upside down and just that sort of sensation of hand shaking the, the club towards target. Just practice swinging your arms to kind of next frame, back there, maybe sort of a bit lower down that way position. Just sort of here now as if as if you're just handing something to sort of yeah, someone to your left yeah know. yeah just yeah, exactly yeah get that sensation again the good the, the pleasing thing was when i said to you swing with your right arm as would be expected your right arm was able to swish through you a lot of club head speed then when you're with your left arm most people i'll be honest everyone do this you sort of went oh i just did that kind of natural as if so that's what i'm going to try and do so yeah. letting the arms and limbs and joints have to bend and move keeping things locked out straight just stiffens yeah. you up and you can't move so it's okay. never going to be a good thing with the with the game there okay so that makes sense then with the long game yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah excellent good stuff